All right, here we are at the, the Red Cliffs Gardens, yep. community garden, and this is the shed that. Uh, it's named some, for my neighbor. Yeah, it was uh, free that some people from the church, about, what'd you say, half a dozen guys no, brought this? Yeah, about a dozen guys. About a dozen guys. This is Katie Copen. Good morning. She's taken over the uh, garden here. Anyway, so here's some of the fencing that we bought and post and then the, some of the work they've done. Okay, you're on. All right. Show us, give us a so, quick tour. Yeah, so the shed, it looks kind of wonky because we thought we could just come in and just drop it with a sawzall yeah. off the sides and then put it back together, but they had used glue, yeah, liquid nails. So it came apart really hard and went back up really hard, but it's here and it looks pretty sweet. And it's usable. You got a good roof on it. Yeah, that was sheet metal that was donated. And because you guys made such a huge investment last year and didn't get to see the fruit of that, that I tried really hard to make sure that we didn't ask for more, yeah. you know, to be able to do things. So we just really implemented what you've done. These beds were built out of the lumber that you provided last year. Uh huh. So we've got, you know, lettuce and spinach and onions and peas going here. Yeah. And what we did here, you know, the soil is so barren mm -hmm. and just depleted in nutrients and everything. And there's so many rocks in it. There's just no way we were going to be able to till the soil. Mm -hmm. So down here, we put cardboard everywhere and okay. covered it in pine needles. And pine needles lose their acidity as soon as they hit the ground within three to five days. So that's going to break down over time. This right here is going to break down over time mm -hmm. and just start creating rich soil. Yeah. And then these here, we built the soil up even more so that we could actually plant in it this year. Awesome. So it has the cardboard, it has um, composted goat manure, it has uh, coffee grounds, leaves, pine needles, and wood chips. So in this bed here, we've got some chard growing. This bed here, we've got some... Um, what squash? Uh, summer squash. Summer squash. Cool. And this other one is endive and cabbage. Endive and cabbage in that one. As things start to really sprout up, we'll do and another this bed here, update. One of the neighbors that lived here, she just did a tray of seeds. Uh -huh. So she did like 24 cherry tomato plants. So really, this summer, and I think that's why there isn't a big participation this summer because of what happened last summer people were kind of stand back and see mm -hmm. and this summer i knew it was going to be a herculean effort just to create the the, the structure of it i didn't even know that right. we were going to be able to garden yeah so we're pretty thrilled that we did get to that yeah point. you guys did good so we've got the the cherry tomato starters that she did we've got beans in here and sweet potatoes and um and yeah we're just trying to really block off the weeds as much as possible we were hoping to make this secure from from the prairie dogs and stuff but we're seeing we're just going to see what our, yeah. our um, wildlife neighbors how they respond to our presence right i see you got the rocks around here that's probably yeah keep some critters out and this is this fence is buried down under the not dirt. a whole lot. It's only in about three inches. Yeah. So it's crazy. When we initially put these fence posts in, Susie and I came out and we dug and dug and dug, and we only got them in about a foot deep. Uh -huh. And I thought, that is not going to hold us. But yeah. I snagged a couple of homeless guys one day. Yep. And they're like, no, oh, we'll come out and help you. And it had poured rain the day before. And I start driving out here, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, am I going to get stuck? Because it gets so slimy right. and muddy. Right, right. And they get out here and they're like, give me a ladder, you got a sledgehammer? And I said, yeah. And and that was God, totally. Because they got up on a ladder and they banged these things down another foot and a half. Wow. <laughs> Where we couldn't we couldn't get them in at all because we were hitting a rock constantly. Yeah, that's typical for the Animus Valley. I mean, so, you can hardly get a half a shovel's worth. So take a peek, here's the greenhouse, right? Mm -hmm. And there's the pond. Yep. So come on into the greenhouse. Look at all these rocks Bruce has moved. Well, we can short stop and see Dan really quick. Dan's put up a... Uh, say hi, Dan. Oh, hey, everybody. How are you doing? <laughs> Dan's Thanks, Dan. put up a um, dry erase board so we can write a schedule of who's going to do watering. Uh-huh. Because I'm going to be out of town for three weeks. Really. But uh, we were given that cabinet, and these are some bifold doors I pulled out of the trash. We're going to create shelving. So this is all new to us, how to greenhouse garden. Mm -hmm. And we'll really take off with this next winter, like February and March. Yeah. These are potatoes 
and some strawberries in these buckets. But this is what's really exciting. Now, this is our water system. So if you look here, this is the cistern, and this is our pump. So we've got the pump attached here, and we dug a trench all the way out to the pond. Nice. And so let me give you a demonstration real quick. We're going to, we'll figure out how much. So it takes about five pumps to prime it. So there we got water. Okay. Where is it? Come on. It was coming. There. And then it just starts running after you prime it? No, it doesn't just run. You have to keep you have to keep, uh, you have to pumping. keep pumping it. And so it takes about seven pumps and to, then it gets to do really a gallon. Good. Yeah. And so what we do is that as we have time. Like if I'm out here for a long time in the morning, I'll just pump directly into this and water. Yeah. And if um, and then I'll work on refilling this. Uh huh. This holds 120 gallons, and we're hoping to get a hand pump for this one as well and fill this. Yeah. So that when we ask for volunteers to water, they can just draw water out of the cisterns and not have to pump at all. Awesome. So, and what was your name again? Laura. Laura, and you live here I live with here. your husband. Yes. Awesome. Hey, okay. thanks for doing all this. Well, all right, I'm gonna... we're enjoying. That was the one thing we missed was we had a phenomenal garden at home, and uh -huh. we're gonna miss that living yeah. in an apartment when we relocated here. But not so. now. Yeah. Right, exactly. Where you, where'd you come so, from? New Jersey. Oh wow. Yeah, we had a hard time getting here. We could not. Even our credit's fantastic, but they said, "Oh, you're from New Jersey. You don't have jobs yet." No. Yeah. Even here, they said, well, prove that you have a job. And I said, how about I just give you six months rent? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then they said, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, Excellent. Yeah. yeah. All right. So all kinds of stuff growing. Yay. Thanks, mm -hmm. guys.